All right, welcome to my first WordPress tutorial. And we're actually going to make this one about, uh, because I've been working with quite a few clients that uh, want to bring in a lot of photos into their websites. And the most popular plugin, we're actually go to one of my sample sites that does not have this installed. So you go into your admin panel, move that out of the way. And to your plugins here on the left, you can see, you can go to your installed plugins. I do not have uh, next gen, next gen gallery. Five, no, six million plus downloads. It's crazy. So uh, we do not have that in here. So let's go to add new. Just click that and you can do a little search. I've already done this obviously, but type in next gen like that, search plugins, which goes to the WordPress plugin repository. Um, and you can see there's a few different ones. What you want is this, this bad boy right here. So next gen gallery, yeah, the most popular, you see nice amount of stars there. So let's click install. Yes, I do want to install that. So you can see it's working down here a little bit. Successfully installed. Activate plugin. So as soon as you do that, uh, one, you will see it in your installed plugins uh, right here. So it gives you a deactivate option, which means it's activated. You will also see this, very important, in the bottom left, um, and this little symbol, two, two little image icons on top of each other. That is sort of the next-gen um, well, logo, icon logo. So, okay, let's say uh, we're going to end up creating a page for this gallery. But for right now, we go to gallery, add gallery images. Click on that. Here we go. So let's say a photo test gallery one. So I'm going to do next gen photo test gallery one. Add gallery. Look in there a little bit, and it pops you right into the option to upload your photos. So I definitely like this. Um, I mean, if you have some huge full screen shots, the larger your images are, the longer it could take to load. But Next Gen has gotten really good at optimizing, compressing. So um, I do like to have all my images cropped, whether it's vertical, horizontal. It just gives a nice. Um, preview size, and even on your phone, which uh, these images are uh, made to be responsive, which is awesome for mo mobile view. Huge deal for me, well, for, for everyone now. So um, I do check that, actually one second, uh, we go to, um, uh, let's go back to gallery. These are all your gallery options right here. Very important right here, options. Click options, it gives you all these setting options. So go to thumbnails. I like to have my thumbnails, again, depending on, on taste. You know what, let's just stick with what they give us right now. Um, images, image quality, 85%, but it really is 100%. It, it compresses them for you, but you can, it's not visually, you cannot tell. Uh, you can change your resizing here. Uh, it keeps you know the ratio so that um, you know, width to height, it doesn't distort anything. Um, automatically resize images on upload. It's up to you. I do like to check that. Um, and then it gives you a slideshow option. I really don't like their slideshow. It's very weak, sorry, in my opinion. So I take off integrate slideshow. Um, and you can play with that later if you want, but I think people just like to scroll through at their own pace. Um, I think that's about it. It gives you a really cool watermark option. If you want to upload a little uh, logo and then tell it, you know what, I want my watermark bottom left, bottom right. Doubt you want it in the middle. That's kind of just rude. Um, so uh, I don't know, say bottom right. Um, I actually don't have a logo handy to upload, but um, you can also click over to text and let's say superstar QR. Let's give this a shot. Size 10 pixels, that's pretty small. Try 25. Uh, it gives you one option here. All right. Save changes. So that just saved all the changes across the board. 
that we'd made here. Maybe some of the thumbnail size. All right, so let's go back to add gallery and images. Um, we are going to add into our next gen right here, into the next gen photo test gallery. Select files. So I was actually working on interior design website. So let's um, let's see if we have a going for. It. So the, either you can you know select all. Say we'll just do these. All right. Open. So you have to click upload. Uh, do you want them scaled beforehand? Again, that's that's. I I think it's a lot cleaner. Um, so upload. So you can see your processing. You see underneath it's clicking through and took care of those pretty quick. They're not very large images. So larger they are, uh, obviously longer it takes. So it kind of kicks you out of there and you're back into this. If you want to go to, say, another folder. Oops. That's the one I wanted. Um, this is a pretty, this is a like full, full screen image size. Uh, we want to pop that into the same folder, the next gen folder, and folder slash gallery, same. Um, all right, so that is now in, so you go to overview, the bottom left here, you can see 12 images are uploaded in one, and we have one gallery. I mean, this can get very extensive. Um, so I'll tell you what, let's go to pages. We're going to make a new page. How about, wow, check out next gen gallery test. Um, so many themes out there, but uh, usually they give you some kind of options of, um, I'm going to do page with no sidebar, so full screen. Um, and then we go to our little edit options. Um, there is the next gen icon right there. Depending on, sometimes you have a lot of these in certain themes, but either way, it's, it's going to look exactly like that every time. Hover over it. Oh, there's a little reminder, add next gen gallery. You know what? Let's do that. Click that, and you hit this little drop down, highlight our gallery. And image list, I think, is the best way. You can experiment with those. Um, insert. So this is called a short code, this little code with brackets. Um, I'm just going to center that. Publish. And we can just go to preview. Which always opens it, opens it in the next window. I've got one of my QR codes in the background here, so ignore that. Um, again, this is like the def whoa. There's that show a slideshow. Gee, that's impressive. Sorry. Um, <laughs> let's go back. We're gonna take that option off. And don't we love that? It's called a light box. It's a jQuery code, so um, if you compress your browser, you can actually see what it would look like on your phone. And this was that massive image that's a little dispro disproportional. Um, hold on one sec. Start at the first image. See, that's what I meant. It's nice how it just keeps it the same height size, but it's still proportional. Uh, if you click on it, it goes to a lighter version. And you can, I love that too. It goes right back to where it started. So they've made some improvements on this plugin. It's just really nice. Um, so it, as you saw, you can make the thumbnails larger. Um, looks great on your phone. Um, I was going to show you a few. Okay, so we go back into gallery options and the gallery tab. And I don't think I saved this last time, so we're gonna uncheck uh, show a slideshow, save that, and this is really key. There's a few different ways to display, uh, scroll back up here. Um, if we go to effects, by default, it's the shutter display. 
when you click on the thumbnails. So let's check that out real quick. Hit refresh. Okay, so um, select any thumbnail and you can scroll through. Again, it's cropping it with that 800 height. Um, and it's got, you know, a dark background. It's pretty sleek looking. But let's um, go to Lightbox, which is pretty popular. Click Save Changes. It's processing. Let's refresh this page. Loads our thumbnails with the new setting. Uh, Now this is pretty cool. It, it puts a little, you know, showcase board around that. You've got your uh, your arrows. If you go to the right, you'll see the right arrow. You go to the left, the left arrow pops up. But it's also got your thumbnails. This is really cool. Um, you can actually scroll the thumbnail, see how far over it goes, and uh, you don't have to close this window. You can arrow the same as um, shutter. It's got a little play function and a pause function. Um, you can adjust the uh, the timing of, of the, the slideshow. This this slideshow I like way better than the other one. Um, and again, you can adjust the time the interval the pauses between all that. Um, it's got a lot of white space between. But I think people usually just like to control their own slideshow. To be honest, I mean, uh, you know, right here with the toggle arrows, how long do I want to? This image is actually uploaded a lot smaller than the others. So we can close out of there. Um, but uh, the other really nice feature about the light box is it gives you a tweet and a like where people can promote your site, your images on their social networks, um, which we of course love and it's free. So um, let's close out of there. So we've got light box, uh, shutter, and let's try high slide. Change that, click Save Changes, let's refresh, oops, actually, yeah. So this time it leaves the background really light, um, which is kind of, you know, like a bright showcase for your images. It does put the white border around. The thing is there's no arrows, so you literally have to close out of each image, which is fine. You know, say you have three or four full screen size images uh, that, you know, that you didn't crop and you really want to showcase those without any distraction, if you will, um, thumbnails, arrows, like buttons, etc. Um, then this is a great option and way to go. High slide. So um, let's put it back on the default shutter, save changes, and we are going to wrap this tutorial up. Um, refreshing, reloading. This is a WordPress theme, uh, a little bit more complex, but uh, I still use the NextGen uh, Photo Gallery plugin in here. So you can see these are some of the sites I've built. When you hover over the, uh, the thumbnails, this theme actually shows a little magnifying glass, but it has you know the exact same showcase functionality um, as NextGen does in any theme. So, um, Close that out. Um, really love this plugin. Let's see, go to Jason Roselle. I did his site. Um, he wanted to do some thumbnails in the footer. So you can take that little short code, which again just mimics some HTML, and just literally put it in the footer, put it in a side widget, uh, click on the thumbnails, and see it. I don't think we sized his pictures all the same, as you can tell. It doesn't flow quite as streamlined. Um, but exact same uh, functionality and display. So um, that's it. You can really do, uh, I mean, just so much with uh, that plugin. Let's uh, give NextGen uh, Gallery a holla. Well, look at that, 3,000 likes. You give them some love right there. Family style, that's how we do it. Oh, and one of the best things is it's free. So we, uh, we absolutely love that. Um, so thanks for tuning in. This is Sterling Williams, the web stylist, sitesbysterling.com, styling you for worldview.